Okay, then I'm going to jump back to home real quick. This is called the mini scroll chart. Right now, each one of these rows, each one of these is a row on our 16 row planner. So this line right down the center would be 100% perfect. So if, if there's a bar above the line, it's a double, a, a skip below the line. So that row there is skipping, that row is skipping even more. These above the line are doubling. Uh, that's a quick glance at singulation on your planner. Now it changed to population. And you can you can uh, you can change the uh, what you want displayed down there. That's what I'm going to go through now. Systems display dashboard mini scroll chart. Uh, so these are the right now we've got live seeds xed out, Air Force is xed out, SRI is xed out. These are the ones that are actually actively going to change. You can set the auto scroll. Right now it's disabled, but you can enable it. And then you can change the delay down here, five seconds, you can change it to uh, three, five, 10, or 15. So what that means is that every five seconds, it's gonna rotate between these values on the home screen down here. So after five seconds, singulation will change to ride quality. So we've got a weight pin on three rows. Now it's on spacing, all 16 rows. Down force, you got your, your average, and then rows 1, 3, and 15 had the weight pins, two vacuum sensors, so forth. You get the idea. And you can go to this dash view button, and you can want to see something quick, you can go to dash view and click on any one of those to see that specific one instead of having to wait for it to cycle back through to get to the, maybe you're particularly interested in ride quality, you can manually force it to go to ride quality quickly. Go back to auto scroll, back to the scroll and all that stuff.